Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to be talking. Uh, this is if you're new to my channel. Um, I'm, I just started up a series. Is that I do mass journey to master prestige. Um, I'm going to try to get to master prestige before Black Ops, uh, Call of Duty, Ghost comes out. And if it does, if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. But today, I'm going to be talking about the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox. One and some other stuff. Oh, really? I just fell off the side of the boat. But, um. Okay, I never heard my PlayStation do that before. It's like, going. But, um. Yeah. I am probably going to get a PlayStation 4 since I do like the PlayStation uh, controller a lot better than the Xbox. I know you could, if you want, get an Xbox configured controller like the PlayStations. I mean, PlayStation controller configured like the Xboxes. Uh, but it would not be that nice. I like the. I want to get it one that has a built-in recording device in it, and I just have a little bit of lag. Um. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? And the PlayStation 4, I know it's going to be a little bit more expensive. The uh, Xbox 720, they were, uh, not 720, Xbox One, already got them, the pre orders out and uh, the price out. It's about 500 bucks last time I seen 499 when I seen the price. Um, I don't know. I, I said I might get the 720. The, oh my god, I'm so used to 720. That's what they should have called it, the 720. Not the Xbox One, since it sounds like the Xbox original. Ow. But, um, it doesn't have a recording device built in. The 720, then, oh my fucking hell, PlayStation 4 does. Um, I, I want to see the console. They're, uh, revealing it at E3 this year. Um, I want to see the freaking con a picture of the console. So that might be a big differ. The, seven, the Xbox One does not look that nice. Uh, the controller looks damn nice, I can tell you that, but the system doesn't. It just looks like a big box. Well, all the Xboxes have look like the big box. That's kind of what they're known. That's kind of what the name is for. Oh, what the! Ah, oh, god damn, niggas, these days, these days, these days. I don't know why. Um, ow! And uh, Go Call of Duty. I think they're gonna. It's gonna come. Uh, yeah, Ghost is gonna come out for the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. So I am gonna get on the PlayStation 3 because I'm not gonna get the PlayStation 4 right away. That's just gonna be. I'm just gonna wait until it drops about a couple hundred bucks and then get it. Cause it's gonna. If it's 700 bucks, I'm not dropping 700 bucks on a, con a gaming console. I have a computer for uh, Alienware for that. It's doing a virus scanner now too. While I'm recording my voice. Um. Yeah, okay, what else? And, uh, it's gonna be running pretty good graphics. I'm, I'm gonna get Battlefield 4 for it. I need to pre-order that, by the way. I have not done that yet. And I have not pre-ordered Call of Duty Ghost yet. I should do that before, um, launch. So I can go to the midnight release. Just like I did for MW3 and at Black Ops 2. And, um, those are the only midnight releases I've ever went to, really. Only Call of Duty midnight releases, since those are the only ones that really have a midnight release. I'm not. If Battlefield 3 had a midnight, oh wait, I w oh now I remember why I didn't go to Battlefield 3 because of they didn't have because I had um uh to go to uh, I had a football game the next day and I really just wanted to go to bed. I don't want to stay up um because I play football. Oh, what the heck? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, yeah. I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, Glock. Oh, uh, that's what I... It looks like Glock to me. Don't judge me. Don't ruin my little stardom moment. Okay, now that was a fail on his side. Whoops, I just hit my mic down. The mic I'm talking to you guys with. I'm using P11s right now. I got him working. The mic sound uh, sounds a lot better on these. What the hell is that guy standing at a wall for? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry about the silence. I do that sometimes. But, um, 
The controller, if it's a lot of light, I want a little bit bigger controller. Since the PlayStation 3 controller is a little bit smaller in my hands. I have big hands for the uh, age I am at. I'm 14. Uh, I have a little bit bigger hands than the average 14 year old. Kind of good or bad. Whatever you guys want to put it, it's good or bad. Oh. Oh, yeah. And I hope for the PlayStation 4 to add, like, um, what I put in it is, I hope they'll, they'll probably still have free online. Why do I still have this kind of Black Ops thing right in front of my keyboard? Um, they'll probably still have free online. Xbox One, it does not have free online anymore. It's still. It's, uh, wait, it does not have free online. They, that's one thing. Um, you're already paying for your internet. You should not pay for online really I did have a gold membership I actually I still love the Xbox but it's like that was just I was like bleeding me dry of uh, membership that was just a waste of money right there oh I didn't put down balancing Betty but it was just a waste of money out because it was basically just a rip off right there um they're just taking your money and say screw you. I'm done. I'm not taking. You're not getting your money. I'm not now. You're paying for security on there. That's why I, um, PlayStation got hacked. They got um because of the guy the hacker wanted to teach Sony a lesson to have security. So PlayStation is a lot easier to hack than um, Xbox because because Microsoft has more money too. Um, what else? I'm trying to think what else to think about. Um, for my next episode, guys, I am going to be talking about, I just want to put this out there, I'm going to be talking about iOS 7, stay tuned for that. Um, and the iPhone 5S, if it comes out, rumors, and the budget iPhone. I do like Apple, I do, they're okay, for computer-wise, I love my iPhone, absolutely. But, uh, I hope they'll come out with a portable, little tiny portable PlayStation 4. Uh, like they did with the Vita. The Vita is pretty nice for what it does. Uh, hope they'll come out with this, like, something that can play all the games. This is what I dream of having. Like, taking Battlefield 3 on the go in a little handheld gaming device. That would be amazing to have. I know a lot of some people that do think like they have that same thing that would like that too. A lot of people would, but it's like you can't because it does not run on the same. It does, you need a very powerful. It would be a very big bulky system, but it would be pretty cool to have. And you're like you have like little like the PSP uh, 2000. Um, those that'd be a nice size screen to play little uh, on the go. Uh, Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4. That would be a pretty good little thing. It would not have the best graphics, but it would be pretty good. Because a lot of gamers, I know quite a few people, I would, myself, I would pay, I would, how much would I pay for that? I would, um, I would dump about six, seven hundred bucks on that. Because I would not pay without a thousand, since I would only pay a thousand for a gaming rig. Or more than a thousand for that, it would matter. But it would be pretty cool to have. Like the Nvidia Shield. I think that's like six hundred bucks, three hundred bucks. I don't know, but it can run um, Call of Duty, but it's gonna have it's linked to your computer. But it, it, that's a that's an amazing thing in the gaming industry. How they can do that? I think it can run Battlefield Three. I didn't. They did not do it in the tests. It's still on. So you have to pre-order it. Project Shield. Uh, is there any, yes. But that would be a pretty good thing to have. I can tell you that. Um, so guys, I'm going to be wrapping this up, so guys, stay tuned for tomorrow for, um, uh, whatever, it's, uh, for, um, iOS 7, so guys, please comment, subscribe, see you guys in the next video, peace.